Hey guys, and welcome to the Best Options channel. In this video, we've decided to review the best Apple CarPlay stereo in 2020, available on the market today. Let us know in a comment below, what is your fear about buying an Apple CarPlay, in order to make some useful videos in the future. We made the list of this top 5 best Apple CarPlay stereo in 2020, based on our personal opinion, research, price and customers reviews. If you'd like to see their price, and find out more information about products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description box below. So, here are the top 5, best Apple CarPlay stereo in 2020. The fifth product on our list, is Sony XAVA X1000 6.2 inch Apple CarPlay. Its design is very clean, and the interface is very easy to navigate. The best way to characterize this media receiver is by saying it's a good entry level for Apple CarPlay. If you have an iPhone, you will be able to utilize Siri as your assistant. This Sony media receiver comes with great sound quality. We don't expect anything less from Sony. There's no CD or DVD player, so your only option is the USB port. By using the built-in Bluetooth, you will be able to make hands-free calls. In general, people got this head unit because you can mount a backup camera. Rear view camera to it. It makes parking easier and faster than ever before. What we love about the Sony XAVAX1000 digital receiver is that it's fast. You don't have to wait for ages to get the music on. The built-in Bluetooth is strong and good. When you talk on the phone, your voice is easy to understand, so the microphone is excellent. The most important feature is that it has an actual volume control knob. It makes turning the volume up and down that much easier. The radio works great and the reception excellent. The digital media receiver technology in the XAVAX1000 has been mated directly to a 6.4 inch resistive touchscreen that uses Active Matrix technology. This allows for the screen to produce vivid colors and high fidelity while at the same time offering resistive touchscreen feedback. Inside of the unit box, you'll find a longer than 4.5 feet USB extension cord. The best thing to do with this is to plug one end into the USB input in the rear of the device and with it you can connect mobile devices. The extra length makes finding the right spot for the cable to be deployed pretty straightforward while giving you a lot of freedom. So, its pros are. It's beautiful, simple and easy to use. Quick startup. Real knob for volume control. However, its cons are. Front USB only. No personalization, no customization. Almost everything can be controlled or manipulated from a bank of simple controls on the left-hand side of the XAVAX1000 screen. The volume knob acts as a control wheel and button depending on the UI elements you are highlighting in the Sony interface. Up next in the fourth place, is Pioneer AVH200X Multimedia DVD Receiver. The touchscreen display is intuitive, so that non-tech people can learn it fast. It's 6.2 inches wide, and it's snappy. It is nice and bright during the day. Plus, it's dimmable, so you don't even notice of being there during the night. Song, artist, Time and album information are beautifully displayed on the 6.2 inch touchscreen. Touchscreen works as well as a modern phone display is bright and clear, lots of options, and the software is extremely fast with no lag, choose any color you want for the buttons. What we like about the Pioneer AVH200X is that the built-in Bluetooth connection is fast. In under 10 seconds, the phone is connected and music playing. This car stereo has a video input and video output so you can mount a rear view camera, that obviously is sold separately. With the help of the camera, you can easily park in tighter spaces. Pioneer's AVH200X is ready to roll with direct connectivity to your iPod or iPhone for music, via an optional USB interface cable, sold separately, depending on your iOS device. The system's wired USB connection provides direct digital signal transfer from the device for clean clear sound, while providing one amp of current to keep your iPod or iPhone charged. Select among 5 colors for the display and 112 different colors to match unit illumination to your vehicle's interior lighting. Also choose from several background images to suit your mood. So, its pros are. Great radio picks up more stations. The display is as good as smartphones. Balanced backlight easy to see in the day doesn't bother at night. However, its cons are. Only small USB drives are recognized. Only 2 background images to choose from. This one includes an external wired microphone for clear, convenient, distortion-free talking, and dedicated backup camera input, used for universal rear-view cameras with an RCA composite input, and also the rear RCA video output, used for connection to separate monitors and other devices. 
The third product on our list is Kenwood DMX 706S 7 inches digital media receiver with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Excellent unit. It does everything it was designed to do very well. Sound quality is top notch as you would expect from an Exelon unit. The Android Auto launches quickly, apps all work solidly, setup is straightforward. It's a short chassis, so it fits in the tightest of dash kits. Unit is only about 3 inches deep, so there's tons of room behind it for wires or whatever. The resistive screen is great, it's very responsive, and can be dimmed nicely for night driving or turned off entirely on longer drives. The built-in Bluetooth connectivity will allow you to have hands-free calling with ease. This is the safest way to drive and talk on the phone. You can do audio streaming with Spotify and Pandora, if you don't want the hassle of carrying around flash drives. It supports both, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Kenwood Exelon DMX 706S, features 6.95 inches WVGA resistive touchscreen display. This model comes with maximum power output of 50 watts X4 channels and full bandwidth power of 22 watts X4, decent enough for an immersive audio experience during your drive. This features 13-band graphic equalizer to enhance your audio experience. Simple touchscreen sound customization is also available with its built-in 13-band EQ and digital time alignment. Now you can access additional music, sports and entertainment content on the go with Sirius XM radio feature. This require optional Sirius XM tuner and this is sold separately. This head unit comes with two camera inputs. You can mount a backup camera and a dash cam for safer driving. If you have a van or a truck, it's an absolute must. So, its pros are. The sound quality is excellent without speaker upgrade. The backup camera turns on instantly you don't have to wait. It's a solid unit for the money. However, its cons are. The display is not that responsive, there's lag. Just imagine getting the latest features for a few hundred dollars. If you're safety conscious, then you can mount two cameras plus use the hands-free calling option. The second product on our list is Alpine ALXW650. This Alpine unit is simple to use and tweak to your liking. The screen is bright and easy to see during the day when it's sunny outside and dims automatically at night. You can also adjust the brightness and dimness of the screen to your liking. All parts of this unit are very simple to use including the 9-band EQ, making or receiving calls, or navigating to a destination. Of course the Alpine is compatible with both Android and Apple CarPlay, which is very nice for navigation, playing music, and making calls. It's a great deck who have both phones in the family. Also the price on it is better than the competition. The touch screen is perfectly sensitive and quick to respond. Changing balance, fade, bass, treble, and mids is as simple as it gets, and there are more options if you go into the full sound customization menu. So many people are texting and driving that it's dangerous. This is why, with the help of Siri, you can get messages read, not only that you can reply to them as well. Radio and music are clean. For example, if you love listening to podcasts and audiobooks during your commute, it will make the trip faster. The touch screen is 7 inches wide. Easy to navigate, and it's responsive to touch. The touch screen works as good as a tablet. The Alpine head unit supports two video inputs. The package doesn't contain any cameras, so you have got to get them separately. Once you install them, you will have a rear view camera, backup camera, and a dash cam. The switch from Bluetooth to CarPlay is automatic just by plugging unplugging the cable. It will drop audio for 1 or 2 seconds during the switch. So, its pros are. Excellent for families who have different phones, Android and Apple. Great sound quality. Clean and responsive screen with no lag. However, its cons are. Slow boot up 15 to 20 seconds. The background and colors can't be customized. If you want a quality double DIN touch screen with Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, that sounds fantastic and is simple to use, while looking clean and not screaming aftermarket, this is an awesome unit. Before presenting our top product from our list today, be sure to check out the description below for the best options on each of these items. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and best products on the market. Finally, our top Apple CarPlay stereo is Pioneer AVHX 390BS Double DIN Bluetooth. This unit offers a multitude of great features. The screen is responsive and the audio quality is great thanks to the equalizer. Bluetooth connection is quick and seamless and Spotify streams great over it. If you have an iPhone and hook it up with a lightning cable, download the Pioneer app and you can have basic navigation. So far it's a great radio, hook a camera to it and you can see behind, while you listen to music. 
The AVHX 390 BS features App Radio 1, providing you the ability to view and control compatible iPhone and Android smartphone apps to easily access your digital lifestyle from the receiver's touchscreen using the one cable connection. From hands-free calling, wireless audio streaming with artist, album, and song search, simple pairing, and voice recognition, Bluetooth wireless technology has made life in the vehicle much more convenient. The AVHX 390BS with Bluetooth also includes better call quality reception using the new Wideband Speech Hands-Free Profile 1.6. Other features, include the ability to browse music libraries on smartphones wirelessly, and Bluetooth dual device connection, for full-time connection of two smartphone devices at the same time. Users of Android devices running operating system 4.0, or later, can connect and listen to music stored on their device to the AVHX 390BS, without the need for an app. The process is made possible using media transfer protocol. Your car and your music are as unique as you are. With Pioneer DVD receivers, sound quality features like built-in auto EQ and time alignment, 13-band graphic equalizer with touch panel swipe settings and built-in high-low pass crossover, with adjustable points and slopes provide you with the controls to tailor the listening experience to your vehicle and listening preferences. Easily upgrade to navigation with the addition of the AVIQ 280 add-on navigation system. This versatile hideaway unit allows you to switch to navigation mode with the touch of a button. Get to your destination by inputting an address or search through the POI library while enjoying whatever source is currently playing. The display of this model comes with an LED backlight, with on-off dimmer settings, brightness control, standby mode present, 112 key colors, display mode off, 13 background display customizations, as well as home screen shortcuts customization. So, it's pros are Simple to use Affordable price. Bluetooth connectivity is good. Easy to install, but may need assistance from a technician. However, the cons are quite basic in some ways. Customer service not that dependable. Album name not shown on the screen, on Spotify. Among the loved features of this model includes the fact that you can make and take calls with it. The sound quality is good, while the Bluetooth connectivity is dependable. Most users conclude that this model is worth the purchase. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If we helped you out with our top, please hit the like and subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next videos.